curious. That's why there was no need for you to have angered our director right now. But still, you would have eventually shut up and just not have... I guess you got a point. <laughs> Yo, welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? I'm glad I paid for your travel expenses then. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more problematic. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year? Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? I don't think we need to worry about that. They'll get caught the second they try to sue. Not like I'd actually want to sell their stuff, though. I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi-kun? Well... There he is, the anti-thief detective. I hope he slips up and self-destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However... No, I shouldn't say any more. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis, you know, of the data. Wanna meet now? Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Hey, tem um minuto. Não se parece cansado. É claro que eu tenho um minuto, mano. Eu tenho todo o tempo do mundo. Pode me falar. Vai, o que, que foi? Vamos falar uma outra hora. Você vai dormir agora. Parece exausto. 
Mona, por favor, cara, por que, que você tá assim? Até deprimido você me manda dormir, é sério? Ah, que droga, cara. Legal, eu vou descobrir o que tá acontecendo com você, cara. Mas bom, sejam bem-vindos a mais um episódio de Persona 5 com vídeos diários. Eu não sei quanto tempo isso vai durar, eu sei que eu estou exausto. Eu não aguento mais editar e gravar, mas eu preciso fazer isso. Eu quero manter uma frequência ótima pra vocês. Então eu conto. Com a ajuda de todo mundo pra divulgar isso. Pelo amor de Deus, divulgo pra todos que vocês conhecem. E agora é hora de mais um corte. Ok. Um... Na verdade, tem algo que eu gostaria de falar com você. Deixa pra lá. Você provavelmente deveria dormir. Não se preocupe, não é nada importante. Mona, qual se pro... Eu já desisti, não vou mais ficar perto das coisas. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. <laughs> He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? Well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's uh, hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? <sighs> This is bad. I better tell the others. E é o fim das férias. É o primeiro dia de aula depois de muito tempo. Ai, eu tô tão cansado. Você já superou seu jet lag? Uh, uh, acho que sim. Quer dizer, eu pessoalmente estou sempre cansado de estar no vídeo, tudo mais. Então... É sério? Nossa, essa foi rápida. Ah, é? Deixa pra lá. Você já soube disso? Os Phantom Teams estão populares agora. Eu fiquei surpreso quando voltamos pro Japão. As pessoas estão realmente prestando atenção em quem nós vamos atacar agora. Isso não é incrível? Ah, uh, uh, não sei, eu estou cansado. Eu estou ficando bem animado com isso. Foi aqui que trabalhamos duro. Foram fazer algo grande, surpreender o mundo. Ok, Ryuji, agora... Me deixa descansar um pouco. Como que você tá animado assim no nosso primeiro dia de aula? about you know what right with the principal and we will now begin the emergency morning assembly as many of you may already know principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday I wonder if that suicide room was for real it happened in front of the police station didn't it I think I was passing through there at the time 
The principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was going to kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing. Either way, it serves that principal right. Hell no. We didn't do jack shit. Are people going to blame us for this too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students. And... <sighs> I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died, covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. 
Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods. More prominently, its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. I already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAV. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah... The excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh! Some team you are! What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this! Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey! Aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey! You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well... This is goodbye. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it! Eu sou humano. Eu tenho que ser. Hum. Tá legal. Eu dei o um jeito da última vez sozinho. E eu posso fazer isso de novo. Eu só preciso derrubar o Okumura antes daqueles caras. Hum. Ah, aquele gatinho... I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, 
I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves' doing. I remember the data you showed me about Akumara Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I'm really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really... impossible alone? How horrible! What? I, I can't see... Who's there? Esther?